Until now, we have looked at Maven projects, which are very, very simple. I mean, most of the Maven projects that we looked at had just one pom.xml. So this pom.xml was what we used to specify the dependencies and everything. But real world projects are more complex than this. Real world projects contains multiple layers. You have a business layer, a web layer, a data layer, and probably a IMPL and APIs for each of these layers. So in real world, we use something called multi-module Maven projects. In this particular step, we will get a brief idea about the multi-module Maven projects. How do you create a multi-layered project with Maven and how do you specify dependencies in there? That's what we would be focusing on in this particular step. How do you create a multi-module Maven project? It's very simple. You'd start with the same way as your Maven project earlier. I'm saying file new Maven project. I'll not use archetypes, so I'll check this up and say next. The only thing that is very different is packaging should be POM. Earlier, the packaging which we're using was a jar. So we wanted to create a jar file, so we were using packaging jar. But now, to create a multi-module project, I would need to have POM as the parent. So let's look at it a little in detail a little later. But for now, you can say packaging as POM. And I would say the group ID is com dot in 28 minutes i mean you can basically give anything in here i'm giving com dot in 28 minutes and artifact id i would want to use is multi-module maven project project so that's basically all that we need and i click finish you can see that a small project is created with some source file in there actually nothing in there and there's a pawn.xml which is created the pawn.xml contains the group id which we specified the artifact id which we specified and the packaging is pom so that's the first step to creating a multi-module maven project now we have the parent pom this pom is called the parent pom i mean i mean it's acts as the parent to all the poms which would be un underneath this what we want to do is we would want to create two modules in here one module i would want to call this as business and the other module i would want to call it as data so under this particular form i would want to create two different projects how do i do that so i'll start with file new other and now instead of maven project i would choose maven module i want to create a module by the name business so how do i do that I would say next and I would again say create a simple project and I would specify the module name in here. So it's the module name is business. That's what I would want to use it. For now, I'll keep it very simple. I will not separate business API and MPLs. So let's have one module which is called business and I'll click finish. You can see that there's a new project created business. If you look at the pom.xml for business, it has a parent reference to the earlier POM that we had created. So if you look at this particular POM that we had in the multi-module Maven project, the group ID, artifact ID, and version of this are used in the business POM. So group ID, artifact ID, and version. And this is the parent. So now the multi-module Maven project POM is treated as the POM for the business POM. And the other important thing is there's a module section added in. So the module section now contains a module business. And you'd see that the artifact ID business is used in here as well. So if I actually refresh this particular thing, you'd see that there's a folder called business which is created in here. So in the multi-module Maven project, we specify the module as business. So now we have created a module business and this module contains another POM, which is a jar. So the packaging for the parent POM is POM. And the packaging for the business POM is jar. I mean, there's no packaging in here. That means by default, it is a jar. As we decided earlier, we'll use command prompt from now on. So I'll CD to that particular folder. Now I would do a MVN clean. You'd see that there are two projects which are running right now. The first one is the multi-module Maven project. And the other one is the business project. What we would do now is we would create the module on our own. So now what we would do is we would want to create a data module. 
So what I'll do is I'll now need to add in a module data. So I'll say module data. So I did that. In addition to that, I need to create a new folder. What is the name of the folder that I would need to create? It should be the same as the name of the module. So the name of the module was data. So I would go ahead and name this as data. So now I have data. I need a pawn.xml. So I'll copy the pawn.xml that we used for business. We need to make a few modifications in there. We would want to use the artifact ID as not business, but we want to use data as the artifact ID. I would leave the parent pom as it is because I would want to use the earlier one as the parent. Now let's do a build and let's see if it's working fine. Okay, there you go. So we have created now a multi-module Maven project with two modules, a business layer and a data layer and we are able to get it compiled successfully. In the next step, let's see how to play around with this a little more. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28 Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.